okay, dear? I'm doing some farm work up in here. See, I got a big thing of hay in my pocket. Well, my name is Thurman O'Hurlihy, and this is my art show. are from Rorschach's uh -huh. and these are just drawings most of them are painted and as you can see there's a sign right here saying four dollars for non painted and six dollars for painted. Those ones against the wall here that have this kind of mirror image to it can you tell me about those like what you, you know doing? what a Rorschach is yeah. it's when you put paint paint on one side of a paper and you close it up and you take it out and I've drawn over that and made designs inside of it and made crazy creatures like that. What are some of the creatures that you made? Um, a Plouse Poodle, a Butterfly Tiger, and there's a Moose -a Mouse. There's a few others like that. Can you tell me what that world is like? What? That world, that imaginary world that you've kind of created? It's just, I've had it in my head. It's just, it just pops out from my head like immediately. What do I see when I do that process? Well, I first look at the pa paper. I just stare at it for like maybe 50, no, maybe 30 seconds. Find out what I want to draw. I'll draw it and then I'll think about it and see what colors I want to put on there. And I'll just put the colors on there and I'll put captions of what they're saying, like, hey, what are you doing? Stop that, or something like that. Show me the one you think is the funniest one. It's got the most humor. That one's got a lot of humor. Whatever this uh, duck type animal has on its eyes, like some sort of cool futuristic sunglasses, and, but it's sitting in a, like a martini or a, they're drinking wine coolers. It's not like he ever listens to me. If I was to say, I really think you should do this or go in this direction, he'll be like, no, you're wrong. And continue doing his thing. Each piece of paper and talk, like the characters talk in front of all these people. Hey. Here. I'm just setting up something. What do you think it is that draws you to paint? I was born like that. My mom's a great painter and drawer. She's been doing that for her whole life, too. He's a big fan of our crumb. Yeah. He's, he's seen a lot of our crumbs work. Mm -hmm. with the other. I don't know if I can. It's exciting watching people say, wow, and talking about my art and saying it's amazing. I was a little nervous, because, you know, sometimes lots of people get nervous about, like, people saying, oh, well, that's kind of sloppy or something like that. Well, it just gets worse when you get old. What was it like having my own show? It was kind of amazing. I've only had one before that when I was about, I, I think, about three. It was like I made up, you can touch this stuff. Touch it, touch it. Bling, bling, bling. It was called the free touch art. And I made like mostly things out of stick men with big bellies with monster mouths. That's basically what I did. But now I have personality with what I do because I think about what I'm not drawing, not just scribbling down. Really, like, whatever this guy's got in his hand is connected to this weird hook thing. And this guy here with a shovel on his hand, this animal, and this kind of upside down animal. It's about. I don't know. It looks fun. It looks like somebody's having fun. Um, oh, I just got something popped up in my head. Maybe like a piece of paper the size of that. Just do it like on this big piece of paper there. Yeah. If I can even find one, it might have to be a canvas. What's your initials? MS. MS. All right. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. <laughs> Sixty-four dollars. Sixty-four. 
I'd like to say that I like other people seeing other people's art.